Hong Kong police are offering $1 million rewards for information leading to the arrest of eight activists who have fled overseas. The eight, including three former lawmakers, are accused of national security-related offenses. Jackie Lin with more. One of the eight self-exiled opposition figures being placed a $1 million bounty is former Democratic Party lawmaker Ted Hoy. He's accused of three security law-related crimes, the most among the eight fugitive activists. The charges include incitement of secession. Police accused him of repeatedly advocating Hong Kong and Taiwan independence and colluding with anti-China politicians overseas. Also named ex-legislator Nathan Law, who chaired the now-disbanded political group Democisto. Law was said to have held public rallies outside Hong Kong and sought to impose foreign sanctions on Beijing and the SR government. Businessman Omer Yun Gong Yi too is on the list. He was said to have established a Hong Kong Parliament Electoral Organizing Committee overseas and called for sanctions on the SR's judges. Yun is the father-in-law of current lawmaker Yunus Yong, who pledged support for the police's law enforcement efforts. The remaining five wanted by the National Security Police are ex-legal sector lawmaker Dennis Kwok, progressive lawyers groups Kevin Yam, Unionist Meng Siu Ted, as well as activists Anna Kwok and Fin Lau. Kwok was said to have colluded with anti-China politicians and groups in a bid to damage Hong Kong's linked exchange rate system. Chief Superintendent of the Police National Security Department Lee Kui Hua said the reward notices could help them track down the fugitives. Of course, you may say that now they're in the overseas, uh, that, that may be useful, but you never know. Maybe someday he come back to Hong Kong for other illegal means. That kind of information should be very useful for us. Lee said the $1 million rewards were not for optics but to bring those responsible to justice. He added anyone supporting them financially could face the risk of violating the security law. Jacqueline, TVB News.